friends welcome to bank exam cafe and from today we are starting with the rrb ntpc today is the day 1 and we have decided ab ki bar rrb ntpc par we have to pass and crack the rrb ntpc examination so today we are starting with the number system in which we will discuss about how to find the unit place digits friends suppose i ask you 4625 raise to 3823 and if i asked what will be the unit place digit of the result it means you will start thinking that we have to multiply 4625 3823 times oh it's very shocking very difficult how to multiply such big numbers so many times and to find the unit place digit but friends do not disturb there is a trick there is a shortcut you can solve it quickly within seconds remember winners do not do the different things they do the things differently so learn to do something differently to get the success so here remember one rule that if the number is ending with 0 1 5 and 6 remember the numbers which are ending with 0 1 5 and 6 then the unit place digit of the result will also end with either 0 1 5 or 6 if the unit place digit is 5 then the result whatever it may be all the numbers but its unit place digit will be 5 only take another example if the number 4 7 9 8 4 6 6 to the power 5 6 9 it means that you have to multiply this number 569 times it is a tedious job it will require herculean efforts and these herculean efforts will only find the unit place digit of the result but sometimes that herculean efforts do not require you require a trick you require a method to find it quickly here just see what is the unit place digit unit place digit is 6 and if a number is ending with 0 ending with 1 ending with 5 or ending with 6 then the unit place digit of the result will also end with 6 so the unit place digit of the result will be 6 now take the another example here if i give you the question at 625 to the power 527 correct plus another number 321 to the power 423 and you have to find the unit place digit of the result how will you find this here since this number is ending with 5 it means its unit place digit is 5 then the unit place digit of the result will also be 5 here this number is ending with 1 its unit place digit is 1 so the unit place digit of the result will also be 1 because we know that if the number is ending with 0 1 5 and 6 the unit place digit will not change it will remain same either 
5 or 6. So this will be 5 and here the unit place digit will be 1 and if you add these two you will get 5 plus 1 6 and so the unit place digit is 6. But just see the another situation. If we have taken it in a different way, I take the same numbers but I change the sequence. Here I take it as 321 to the power 423 minus 625 to the power 527. Now here the unit plus digit now you can say very easily that unit plus digit is 1 because it is ending with 1 and if any number ending with 0, 1, 5 or 6 then the unit plus digit of the result will remain unchanged. So minus here again the unit plus digit is 5 so it will be unit plus digit will be 5. So which is equal to 1 minus 5 that will be minus 4. But you know that the unit plus digit can never be negative. Remember unit plus digit can never be negative. Then how to find the unit plus digit in this case? It's simple. Nothing to do. Take 10, 10 minus 4 that will be 6 and so the unit plus digit will be 6. In this case the unit plus digit will be 6. So remember whenever you get the unit plus digit as minus 4 you have to do one step more that 10 minus 4 you need not to write it you need not to take the pin you can just do it orally that 10 minus 4 it means 6 and the unit plus digit will be 6. So friends here we have seen if the unit plus digit of the number is 0, 1, 5 or 6 then the unit plus digit of the result will remain unchanged. Now here take one more question. So I take it as 5, 7, 6 to the power 28 plus here 3, 2, 1 to the power 38 plus another number 5, 7, 5 to the power 46 minus here 6, 7, 0 to the power 39 and you have to find the unit place digit of this addition and subtraction. So here you cannot do the calculation, actual calculation, so you will have to use the trick. So do it differently to get the success. Whatever the people do, you do it in a different way. Then only you will get the success. So here the unit place is digit is 6. We know the rule that if the unit place digit of a number is 0, 1, 5 or 6, then the unit place digit of the result remains unchanged so it will be 6 only plus here again the unit place digit is 1 and since it is 1 the unit place digit of the result will remain unchanged so it will be 1 plus here the unit place digit is 5 and since it is 5 the the unit place digit will remain unchanged so it will be 5 minus here the unit place digit is 0 and since it is 0 the unit place digit of the result will also remain 0. So it will be 6 plus 1 7, 7 and 5 it will be 12 and since it is 12 the unit place digit is 2 so for this question the unit place digit will be 2. Now the question will come to your mind that if the number which is other than 0, 1, 5 and 6 then how to find the unit place digit. Don't worry there is also a trick. There is also a shortcut. Here we know that if a number is ending with 0, 1, 5 and 6 then the unit place digit of the result will remain unchanged. 
but if the unit place digit is other than these numbers then how to find the unit place digit suppose the number is 6753 to the power 66 now in this case we have to divide the exponent that is 66 by 4 provided the unit place digit is not 0, 1, 5 or 6. It is 3. So it is not 0, 1, 5 or 6. So what you will do? You will divide the exponent by 4. So divide the exponent by 4. After dividing what remainder you will get? The remainder you will get will be 2. Remainder here you are getting 2. So just you have to do one thing that it will be what is the unit place digit here? 3 correct 3 and remainder is 2 take 2 as the index so 3 square that will be equal to 9 so the unit place digit will be 9 now take another question suppose it is 1 5 7 2 9 to the power to the power it is 1 7 6 4 to the power 1764. Now you will say that we have to divide the index or this exponent by 4. It is a 4 digit number. It will be 4, 5 digit. It may be 6 digit. It may be 7 digit. So to divide by 4 it will take a longer time. We cannot solve it within a second or 2 seconds or 3 seconds. Here we see that this number unit plus digit is 9 which is other than 0, 1, 5 and 6. Correct. So we will have to divide this exponent that is 1764 by 4. Correct. We know that the rule of divisibility is that if the last two digits means the unit place digit and the tens place digit is divisible by 4, the whole number is divisible by 4. So there is no need to divide the complete number that is 1764 by 4. Instead of that you have to just divide it 64 by 4 and check what will be the remainder. So it is 64. If you divide by 4, you will get the remainder 0. Now the situation is different. Here you are getting the remainder and in the previous case you got remainder other than 0. And since the remainder is 0, you have to take 9, this 9, and it is to raise to power 4. We are dividing by 4, correct? And we are getting remainder 0. And since the remainder is 0, we have to take raise 9 to the power 4. And if you raise 9 to the power 4, it will be 9 into 9 into 9 into 9. This will be 9 9 za 81. It will be 1. This will be 9 9 za 81. Its unit place digit is 1. So 1 into 1. So in this case, 1 will be the unit place digit. Let us see another question. Here, if you take the number 5, 7, 9, 4 and it is raised to the power 2, 3, 4, 2, 0, 2, 4. And so, you will think you will have to divide this number that is the index or the exponent by 4. Since this unit place digit is other than 0, 1, 5 or 6. If this unit place digit is other than 0, 1, 5, 6, then you have to divide the index or the exponent by 4. But instead of dividing this whole number by 4, we divide it by uh, last two digits that is 24 by 4 and then check for the remainder. So here in this case remainder will be 0 and as we have seen previously since the remainder is 0 we do 4 we take this 4 and then it is raised to the power 4. 
we take this 4 means the unit place digit of the base and we raise it to the power 4 by which we are dividing. So 4 to the power 4 it means 4 into 4 into 4 into 4 all these things you have to do orally uh, 4 4 the 16 unit place digit will be 6 4 4 the 16 unit place digit will be 6 and therefore 6 6 the 36 and finally the unit place digit will be 6. Now friends you will ask me can we not avoid these steps? Is there any shortcut or a trick to avoid all these steps, this step and the step? Yes friends, you can avoid this. Here in the first case you got 9 to the power 4 and we got the unit place digit as 1 and in the second case we got it 4 to the power 4 and we got the remainder at 6. So here is a trick. You can see that if the even number is raised to power 4 or the odd number raised to power 4, these two possibilities are only there. Either it will be an even number or it will be an odd number. This number may be a odd number or may be a even number. So if it is even number and raised to 4, then the unit place digit will be always 6. And if it is an odd number and it is raised to 4, remember the unit place digit will be always 1. Now let us check it for the another example. Friends, check this for another number. It is 7000. 953 to the power 732. Since this is 3, other than the number 0, 1, 5, 6 and therefore we will divide the exponent by 4. So 732 divided by 4, we do not divide, we divide only last two digits. So the remainder will be 0, 4 8 is 32. So remainder will be 0 and since the remainder is 0, we raise this number 3 to the power 4. We number this 3 means the unit place digit of the base to the power 4 and since this is the odd number and the odd number is raised to power 4 and we know that if odd number is raised to power 4, the unit place digit will be 1. There is no need to do any calculation. Now see one more question. So it is 6532 to the power 836 which is equal to, it will be 2, this is other than 0, 1, 5 and 6. So we will divide this index by 4. So 36 by 4 and so the remainder will be equal to 0. Since the remainder is 0, this is 2. The unit place digit of base is 2 that will be raised to 4. Since this is the even number, even number that is raised to 4 and so the unit place digit will be 6. And so in this case, the unit place digit will be 6. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends so that they too will get connected with me and please do not forget to subscribe the channel so that the notification of the newly uploaded video will reach to you and you will not miss any of the video. So friends, like, share and subscribe the channel. But before leaving the video in the next video means day two we are going to see if the number is given to you six five four three two and it is raised to 25 factorial then how to find the unit place digit so here we are taking a rest and we are going away for a day Tomorrow there will be another video in which we will see how to find the unit place digit if the exponent is in the
factorial form so friends thank you very much from the very core of my heart for watching this video please like share and subscribe the channel